and we're live everyone this is Amish Gamer and then we're returning to ROTK10 I'll continue with this uh, battle history mode I guess I could have just translated battle history <laughs> that's what it says so now I want to unlock the other scenario so I guess to unlock the other scenario I will have to win as Liu Xun Yes. So with Liu Xun what happened was um Liu Xun was ordered to rule over Yangzhou to basically avoid Yuan Su's pressure. And then when he attacked Wu Jing, who was under Yuan Su, Sun Tzu, who was actually under Yuan Su. So after, so if you remember, I was playing under the Sun Jin. Sun Jin was Sun Tzu's father. Sun Jin died, and then Sun Tzu actually surrendered, or at least became an officer under Yuan Su. And what ended up happening was. Sun Tzu knew that he, he wouldn't be able to achieve much, you know, working on, like, being someone else's subject. So he decided to use this opportunity to basically, you know, borrow some troops and then, actually, from what I remembered, like, if you remember, um, like, Sun Jim, like, he found the Imperial Seal. And because of the Imperial Seal... He actually got killed later in combat fighting against Liu Biao. So Sun Tzu had the Imperial Seal. So basically he offered the seal to Yuan Su and said, uh, let me borrow some troops and then I'll deal with Liu Sun. And then Sun Tzu is like, sure. And this is what's happening. And here he's like, the son of Sun Jian, Sun Tzu, is now attacking our territory. Anyone has any bright ideas? Tai Shi Tzu is... I think that's how you pronounce it. He's like, don't worry everyone. Like, Sun Tzu, that sort of character. Once he encounters me, he will be defeated. But Liu Sun doesn't trust him. And he said he wants to lead the way, lead the vanguard. And Liu Sun is, it's like fine, you can lead the way, but he's actually very capable, Tai Shi Tzu. Okay, let's. Let's ambush the enemy. Wait, what are you? Okay. Liu Xun isn't that good, as you can see. Yeah, let's keep up the ambush. That is not good. I don't think... No, none of them. He actually has some tactics. Surprisingly. And the wind is actually spreading... Towards, well, not directly towards them, but yeah. Okay. 
Um, how does this terrain work? It's kind of odd. Okay, if we could get rid of... If we could get rid of Zoyu, that would be a big portion. And then what happened is the camp got set on fire. And then these guys were basically helping Shun Tzu in. This might take a few tries. I hate to say it. This is not good. Now if I could calm. So they are at our rear, which is not good at all. Please tell me it's going to succeed. Okay, we managed to calm him. That is good. Yeah, get rid of Zoyu first. I can't believe you succeeded. Oh shoot, yeah, the, the winds are not very favorable. It could easily spread in my direction. Yeah, these guys are a bit too dumb at times. Even putting out fire is a difficult thing to do at times. And then we get our reinforcements. If you look at the map, Wang Liang and uh, Yan Bai Hu, I think that's Yan. Yeah, now we have some reinforcements. Oh, great. Yeah, the, the fire is actually doing more damage. Oh, I forgot about, yeah, I totally forgot about the ambush. You get forgetful when you're in my situation. But the wind is not very favorable. Don't have enough movements to Yeah, the flames are not helping at all. Like we should outnumber them, but so far. That's fire there. Like overall, when you look at who's in com like the officers available, yeah, overall they are not that good. Okay, that's interesting. Well, yeah. Yeah, the, the fire is causing me a lot of headache. I could try to put it out, but...
Unfortunately, our allies aren't very reliable. Actually, most of my officers aren't that reliable when it comes to putting out fires. Yeah, the, the winds are not doing me any favors at all. Uh, that is not good. Yeah, sadly, when you calm, it's... It has a look at... You know, the stats of the unit you're trying to calm. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a horrible mistake. Why did I attack? I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, next time I'm not doing that. He's like, good. Now, Sun Tzu won't be able to threaten us. So it says Liu Sun uh, defended Jiang Dong, basically the south east part of China from Sun Tzu, and working to get together with Wang Wang Liang, basically brought peace. But even at this time, Cao Cao has defeated Yuan Cao, and is aiming to invade the south. And what Liu Sun did was basically surrender. Right, there's something very specific that has to be achieved here. I just don't... I'll have to look it up online because I don't have it memorized. But, but right now, actually, winning this way is... It's much easier to win through... I use a very nasty tactic, just use uh, bait. I remember there are certain Things you can trigger. I just don't remember how. Like this one is probably one of the more complex uh, battle history modes because of what could potentially happen. So they basically outnumber us. So. It's generally not a good idea. Okay. Where is Zhang Yin going to go? I didn't realize there's no four.
Yeah, let's bait them slowly. Yeah, there are certain things you you can do. I wish I haven't memorized to unlock the other scenario. It's really specific. I don't even know. Like certain people just do crazy things. And what what ends up happening is you need a couple of tries. Before you can make it work. Wait, he. Oh, he, he. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, apparently their reinforcements arrived first. It's okay, I take my time anyways. Just keep ambushing him. Yeah, I think what you needed to do was first duel him. And then... Yeah, I need to check online because... I remember there's something very specific. I definitely need a guide for it. And yeah, this won't end. Yeah, let's see if I could bait him. What a fool. Yeah, he's basically surrounded at this point, which is pretty funny. Yeah, there's no point losing more units than I have to. Let's just do it the fastest way, right? Bait him into our traps. Yeah, there's something very specific that you have to do, unfortunately, which makes it a nightmare deal with so next time he move he should enter like a double ambush I mean that's the thing I I don't even need to take out their fort Yeah, this is so broken, but when you're against overwhelming odds, that's what you have to do. And if you know how they operate, then 
you do what's needed to minimize, right? Like if you know your enemy, naturally you're gonna put yourself in a situation where it's much more favorable for you. I mean, he's not going anywhere. At least, not if he thinks he can. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to taunt him, so he'll go preferably a certain way. As you can see, you can really mess with the AI. And what are they going to do, right? Uh, that is definitely annoying. Now they start moving, but it's already too late. And just like that, I didn't lose a single unit. Just because the forest. He says, alright, this is our victory. Jiangdong is now my territory. They all say we're very happy, and now they... And then basically he was doing well, conquering all of this, and then he got assassinated. Like if I remember... Here he's basically saying he's giving uh, his power to his younger brother, Sun Tran. And so you, who was like a sworn brother to Sun Tzu, is now helping Sun Quan in solidifying their control, recruit strong officers, and then he at this point Cao Cao defeated Yuan Cao and is looking to come southwards. Yeah, I need to figure out how to unlock this. Now, um, so this is the Red Cliff where Cao Cao was famously defeated. So this is going to be... So now Cao Cao controlled central and northern China. And he moved towards Jingzhou where the ruler there... The son of Liu Biao. So Liu Biao just died. Liu Zong took over and he didn't even fight. He just surrendered. Liu Bei is at Jiangxia and right now. At this point. Yeah, at, at this point Cao Cao just wanted to con conquer southern. But what stands between him is Sun Chen and Liu Bei. And he's like, at this point, what sort of moves do you think Sun Quan will do? Right, at, at this point, um, Dong Wu, what happened is, there are a lot of officers against war. But what ends up happening is Zhou Yu and Lu Xun basically convince 
Sun Chen to fight Cao Cao. Let's see if I remember correctly. Right, this is gonna get messy. <laughs> so we only, so the water is rushing, and those who has T2 is able to move easily on water. We only have two officers. All of Dongwu's officers are able to Wait, does Do you have No he doesn't Ooh he's missing such a big Yeah we have a lot of forces like we, we definitely outnumber them But the issue is outnumbering them is not quite enough at this point Oh, I could give order to all of them. Yeah, I need to choose carefully. This might take a couple of tries because I'm not sure what's the best move. This one there isn't like forest that you know I can take advantage and say oh let's do that. If we could start a fire that would be great. Um. Yeah see that's what happens you, you lose control of your ship. And then, and when you have a boat, if you set it on fire, it's a very nasty thing to deal with. Oh, so close. Yeah, it's it's getting onto that tower that gets. Oh, that wind isn't going to help us. Ah, I hate it. Yeah, we've already lost one of our forces. This is really tough to win. Get on there. And then suddenly our forces get ill. We lose a good number of them. And we also lose morale, which is a big thing. Yeah, this is one of the tougher scenarios to make it a historical so Tao Tai Chi wins. Yeah, no, he's going to be defeated. So Huang Kai says, "Right. So, so if I win, which is extremely hard, as you can see."
but it's not impossible. So if he wins, what ends up happening is I will have to accept their, you know, I will be like, all right, you convince me. Oh, yes. I think he's lost. Unless he has. Are you kidding? Of course he has that. And I won. That's one of the harder things. But if that was allowed to happen, it would be devastating. So later on, wow, my forces are just horrible. <laughs> we might outnumber them, but it's not enough to, I still don't think we can win. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Yeah, part of the issue is most of our forces are so bad in the water. Okay, yeah, now Juan guy is like, I'm here to surrender. And then he's like, we waited a long time. Everyone fire at that ship. And then he's like, you, you think I will fall for such a trick? Oh, they're confused. Oh, wow. That's a huge blessing. If I could take advantage of that. Yeah, if we could use this opportunity to... Yeah, I can't put, well, I can't put it out easily. Maybe you'll have a better chance. Yeah. Okay, we got rid of that. Perfect. I don't know what happens if I take out that fortification. Interesting. Fortification, you could do that. Yeah, Zhuge Liang is one of the more frustrating foes to deal with. Oh yeah, um, I guess I forgot to mention. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So these are like the improved ships. These are the bigger ships. The bigger ships are really helpful. I don't know why that's an option. Yeah, I need to lessen their numbers. Because if I can do that. Yep. 
because that will basically I mean they're they're mostly out of tactics at this point but right now what we have is numbers if we could use our numbers if we could use our numbers then we'll be victorious almost got that I don't know why it's even an option oh my god why do you have to do stupid things yeah take out so you and they'll be done for essentially Yeah, as more and more of our forces land, he's gonna run. Yeah, the coward. <laughs> I knew he was gonna run. Luckily, it's weird. Like, Zuko Liang is actually not good on water. Yeah, I'm gonna advance very carefully. Because Zuko Liang is going to be one of the bigger threats. Yeah, that's one of the dumber things they could have done. Now, I will admit. The maneuverability of Zoyu will make chasing him down a big nightmare. But that doesn't mean that we can't overcome it. That wasn't the best outcome, but I mean, it could be a lot worse. What are you? Oh, I got a bit too close. That is not the smartest thing to do. Why can't I set him on fire? <laughs> But yeah, now that they they don't control the central island, it's not good for them. I'm surprised. I wonder if they programmed this so it cannot rain. Yeah, let's deal with Zhang Fei first. I think he'll be a bigger problem in the long run. I, I can't set them on fire. Thank you. Okay, there is rain. Never mind. I mean, they might have set it up so that rain doesn't happen for X number of time. Or maybe if you're really unlucky, you won't have it. Yeah, get rid of Zhou Yu and will be done basically good it's over I thought it was gonna be uh, it was gonna be horrible but everyone we have been victorious Dongwen Liu Bei has been defeated and therefore 
At this point, he just had Basu, which is southwest China, which is actually not that difficult to take care of. Like, the east side was underdeveloped. And it says, by winning Red Cliff, Cao Cao was able to get rid of Sun Quan. And then Ma Cao was basically rebelled. And, and yet he was unable to do much. And then basically victory. So now we have this scenario where it's Cao Cao against the old. I think it's Zhang. Playing as Sun Quan is the easiest, I think. Playing as Zhuge Liang is actually tough because you have to first win a debate. And this is not an easy debate to win. That is very bad. Basically, yeah, you have to first beat this to get into the battle. So he lost. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because of that, you only have Liu Bei assisting, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so you have Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei. Oh, you have a much smaller force. I guess if you win the debate, you will have the entire force at your hands. The forces seem smaller. I think they had that much to begin with. Yeah, this makes operating with Zhuge Liang hard, a lot tougher. Oh, that is really bad. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, waste your turn when you can instead be contributing. Yeah, I can't really do much. <laughs> when you think about it, it's like my options are very limited. Well, they did what I hoped they would do. Yeah, the AI doesn't do enough. Let's at least make the weather favorable. And have it... Wait. Now let's say we could win, I actually don't know if the AI Like I said it's it's a huge pain trying to Why are you wasting time? Yeah that 
the AI does some really stupid things at times. Yeah, let's get on land. I'm like, I can't help with what I have here. I'll just make sure that the weather will be good. And distract them by taunting them and putting them out of position. <laughs> yeah, if Tavsa loses that, that'll be hilarious. That's good. He shouldn't be that resistant. Good. Now who else is a bit of a problem? What do you mean? I mean, I feel like the events makes it much helpful. For Zhou Yu, right? The the trigger the events. Good. Wow. Talk about doing stupid things. See, they, they could have just attacked and it would have been fine. Yeah, that's all I can do. Support them from the back by changing the weather. Actually, it's a good thing that Zoyu is a more OP, otherwise, it will create a, create a lot more havoc. I'm just disrupting them so that they can't operate very well. Yeah, with these fires, now they have to put out the fire. Yeah, if you could outmaneuver the enemy on the water, you could do very well. That's if you can do it, do that. I talk about wasting perfectly good moves. Like, unless they make the command ability useless, otherwise I would. See, that's the difference between the AI and human. Like, human would definitely make much better choices. I 
I'm just trying to disrupt their commands. Luckily, they're why are you setting fire there? I mean, of course, it's all just doing dumb things. I mean, sometimes it's a, it's mostly a hit or miss. As you can see, the advanced ship allow you to. Allows you to fire arrows, no matter how close to it. Because normally your archer unit, you have to be at least two tiles away. Okay, they had to withdraw. That's good. But the thing is, like, yeah, they got through that, but it doesn't help their situation. Oh, I've, yeah, I should have stopped the rain from... Yeah, he could come in. I just can't seem to <laughs> taunt this guy. Well, lure. Yeah, right now it's just watching them destroy the enemy. I don't have to do much. I just have to stand. I just have to make sure it's... So, so when it's cloudy, you won't stop. Yeah, he's... That force is gone. Good. That will speed things up. And we're victorious. And then basically he's saying that now it's, you know, after Red Cliff, that's actually what gave uh, Liu Bei a chance to split up uh, China into three kingdoms. Otherwise, I mean, Tsao would have pretty much won. Yeah, they, they basically was able to expand properly. Unlock this. I will finish this by playing as Zhou Yi. Yeah, so here Zhong Is it Zhou? I just don't know. So basically, this is what you saw me earlier where I lost. I mean, you could win it. You just get more forces for Liu Bei's forces. So basically, historically what happened is Zhuge Liang was able to defeat them in a debate. And then he basically cut the table and says that anyone who says that they want to surrender to Cao Cao will suffer the same fate as the table and so he ordered so yes Dadu to basically to lead the way Go back there. See, unlike the AI,
I will make my decisions a lot more carefully. Oh, you could command as well. Perfect. So I have two commands. So I have a whole sum in reserve in the back. I need to first take care of those who can move around the water very easily. Can you do, f yeah. I'm like, I hope you could do fire arrows. I think, I think even when their ships still take more damage, if they're cavalry units, I think. Yeah, I, I don't expect Liu Bei to do much. I think I could do more damage like this, I think. Yeah, first get rid of him. And then get rid of you because you could potentially be a problem. Yeah, if you focus fire on certain enemies, you can definitely achieve a lot more. Yes. Keep starting fires. Yeah, I was worried he would use the, the strategy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Count on AI to do stupid things. And then here is basically one guy's like Zhou Yu. We could use something called Kurochi. So, what it does is he acts like he opposes Zhou Yu. And then so you basically punishes him, and then he acts like, oh, uh, so he doesn't treat me well, so I will surrender to you. That's probably a horrible exp explanation. Yeah, I hate that. That actually took two shots to get rid of. And using fire arrows is not great on land, so I'm not going to. Because if I start a fire and the fire... I mean, there's only four tiles, right? So if it expand, you know, if it spreads, yeah, unfortunately my allies still do that. And then here is basically acting out, you know, he's basically saying that we're ready to fight long term. Make sure that, like, protect our food and supplies. Make sure the enemy can't do it. And Huang Gai is like, I, I object. He's like, we cannot win. He's like, what? Are you making fun of me? He's like, if we're not winning with a quick battle, then, then we have no chance of winning. He's like, if we cannot win within 30 days, why don't we just surrender to Cao Cao? And then he's like, so you're like, well, we, Sun Quan already announced that anyone who says we should surrender will immediately be executed. And he says that, you know, basically what you're doing 
is affecting the morale of our forces. You will die. Ganya's like, wait. He's important to us. Please, um, you know, let him go. And so he's like, see how others are begging for your mercy. Begging for your mercy. I won't take your life. But your your crime cannot be forgiven easily. And what they did is have these wooden boards. They basically beat your back. And then he's like, I can't believe that. After, you know, serving the Sun family for so long. I'm supposed to suffer this humiliation. And then he basically insults Zoe. Zoe is like carried out immediately. That's basically, you know, they, they were acting it out. They're like, oh no. Um, actually, both of those are pretty dangerous. Is he dangerous? If I could find him. Oh, wait, no. Well, I mean, I mean, he could create chaos. And oh, yeah, one thing about boats is that you can actually repeatedly set it on fire. And then, oh yeah, this is where he says that he's like, we we have everything ready except for one thing. And Zhuge Liang is like, we're missing wind that blows in the north northwest direction. He's like, yes, do you have any strategies? He's like, I can call for the wind. And then he's like, as long as you can do that. I'll be happy to. Like, like essentially what's said is that he built kind of a tower to make it happen. And, and Zhuge Liang basically See, the funny thing is, he didn't actually make the wind arrive. He was able to read the weather and know that this wind is going to happen and pretend like he had the ability to call the wind. And because of this, Zoyu actually wanted to kill him but failed to do so. And then they're like, hey, look at the flag. He's like, oh, the wind changed direction. He's like, don't worry, I already sent forces to kill Zhuge Liang or Koming and uh, but he got away and and at this point they're like well we might as well use this to defeat Cao Cao he's like I'll deal with Zhuge Liang later Sadly, the wind does change, so automatically it doesn't stay a certain way. Interesting. Yeah, let's get rid of the force that has landed. It's far more dangerous than the other. Yeah, having two officers that could command the enemy is extremely useful. What's amazing with these ships is that it actually takes less movements to move around on the water, which is a very useful thing to have for sure.
Yeah, if he falls out, that'll be wonderful, but that probably won't happen. Let's get rid of you first. You're actually a bit more dangerous. Because he can make my forces fight between themselves. And you see how effective that is. It's terrifyingly effective. And by the time he lands, he would have already suffered heavily. He just put out the fire, which is not that useful. Sometimes, sometimes if you get lucky, you can start this fire very easily, and it's huge. I guess I should just have a kind of defensive perimeter. And just target oh this rain isn't going to help. Yeah, this rain definitely doesn't help at all. But we'll do what we can. Because overall you can do more damage if... Yeah, that one's almost neutralized. Let's focus on that. Oh wait, you can fire at that. Right, I'm, st I'm still unfamiliar with the range because I normally don't have a lot of naval battles. Oh, apparently he also lowered his stats because he, he suffered the punishment, right? I still don't think it affects the odds of him starting fires. Like, it's still pretty random. One guy's like, yeah, I, I came to surrender. He's like, everyone let him through. He is our ally. And then what ends up happening was he brought ships that he lit on fire and it charged into the enemy forces. And as a result, they, they're in chaos. A lot of them started surrendering. And they're also on fire, so it's not a good situation to be in. So they have taken a, a pretty big hit. And now if... Actually, yeah. if there's already fire, it's better if I just use normal arrows. Oh, I see. Most of their morale is, like, gone. So they're actually getting ready to withdraw if they have the option. Yeah, when you see the kind of a red aura, it means they want to withdraw. Like, their morale has been hit so hard that they are in no position to fight anymore. And as they lose more units, it's only going to get worse because when their allies suffer... You know, when they lose allies, 
their morale is going to take a further hit until there's like nothing left. Yeah, seven morale. If you hit zero morale, you're basically a goner. And at this point, it's just cleaning things up. And because we can move so easily, we'll be able to deal with him pretty easily. And it's over. Yeah, it's much easier playing as Soyi. Because you know who to focus fire. And basically, after this, both Zouyu and Zhuglian both want Jinzo, but Liu Bei got Jinzo. And Zouyu actually died due to anger. So, next time when I play, I'll play this. This is basically... Um, like, Jinzo... Uh, the Battle of Jingzhou. This is like much later when Wu and Wei. So Wei is on the Taozhou, Wu is on the Shenzhen. They decide to take the city and basically what Guan Yu is trying to do is hold them off. Then we also have the Basu which is Taozhou getting rid of the last force that's getting in his way. I also trying to figure out how to unlock this. So yeah, this is the end of this video. Thank you everyone for thank you everyone for watching and I hope you have a good one. Bye.